Look, Lighthouse is a massive map and it's very easy to get lost. So today we're going to go through bearings, how to find your way around the map, as well as some of the best places to loot. So let's start off with landmarks. And one of the most interesting things is that the lighthouse location itself is actually to the south. The island in which the lighthouse is located is a really, really nice point to realize whenever you look at it that that's the south side of the map. If we look to the north then, we're going to see a bridge with support beams as well as a large ass mountain to the right of that, which is pretty much taller than any other mountain in the distance. Now you guys may need to turn your overall visibility up to see these, but these are really good bearings and allow you to work your way around the map and know your directions. So as you can see, I can still see the lighthouse and I'm a little bit in on the highway from it. And if I was to look towards the south, aka with the water on my right, and continue to follow this highway, you can see that the lighthouse is on my right hand side. So as we follow this highway towards the south, and we know it's the south because the water's on our right hand side, we're actually going to be heading towards the south road extract. And that is that the highway runs across the entirety of the map from north to south and the lighthouse being the southern point of the highway, then that means if we were to turn 180 degrees and look towards that huge ass mountain in the distance, that's and that's our point of north. And even if I wasn't to have a compass, I would still be able to navigate the map. So as you can see here, the red arrow is pointing towards it. And I'll show you guys where we are roughly about on the map. So I'm gonna link this map in the description down below if you guys are confused about where we're going here today. But if I was continue to follow this road all the way to the end of the highway towards the north, this is what you'd see. You would actually see the northern checkpoint, and this is one of the extracts at the opposite end of the highway. You can see that bridge I was talking about in front of me, and diagonally to my right would be that massive mountain, but you can't see it because of these concrete walls. So this is at the other end of the highway. So now we're east of where we were earlier on the highway. You can see I was standing roundabout down there, and you can see the lighthouse on my left. So we are to the east and we're going to be checking out the USEC cabins. And you can also see that hill with the dead tree on it just over there. And we're on the other side of the highway, the opposite side to the water. Now this is the eastern side of the map and we're going to be heading into the USEC cabin. USEC Lodge or according to the map Tarkov Hill Chalet. But this is a really, really good area to come. And it's got a lot of points of interest. And a reason that I would recommend you come here is that it has some insane loot. There's a couple of different spawns throughout this location, and I'm going to be doing a separate video specifically for loot in the future, so make sure you guys subscribe for that. But this building itself has a bunch of intel spawns. There are about two confirmed intel spawns, as well as a bunch of food and also weapon attachments that spawn on some of the chairs. But there's also a bunch of rare spawns as well, including gold chains and maybe if you're really lucky, a Bitcoin. So this area is quite hot and people are starting to realize it. So once we're outside the USEC cabin, we're actually going to be heading away from this area and towards the north. And we cannot actually access the rocks towards the east of us or to our right. We're going to actually continue to head north and work our way along the edge of the map. So realizing that to the west is the waterline, which is our limit. And to our east, aka our right, is a bunch of rocks we cannot get past. We're starting to realize that lighthouse is pretty simple. It's basically a giant rectangle with a highway, a super highway that runs north to south as well as a bunch of mountains on the far east that limit you from going too far and a waterline on the west that stops you from there as well. Now we're actually going to be heading towards the north here, so away from the lighthouse, and we're going to continue to run down towards one of the, the luxurious cabins. Now this is a huge super complex which is very easy to see from distance. This is the largest building on the lighthouse location, it has a large blue roof, and we're actually at one of the extracts here called Mountain Pass, which is a red rebel extract. Now this massive blue building actually has some really sweet loot inside of it. We're not going to go through it today, but say it so does the black building nearby. You can find heaps of different jackets, rare spawns, meds, and also a bunch of food. So if you ever need anything, this is an area that you should definitely check out. As we head away from this area though, we are going to continue to gun north. And once we head north, what you're going to start to notice is that we're seeing a bunch of villages. So I've actually run back towards the west here just to show you guys where we are on the highway. We're going to be looking north and you can see that massive mountain there. So once again, heading away from the water, we are going to be cutting inland. You can see that dead tree on the hill nearby. But we're going to be cutting in towards the east here and we're going to be running past all of the shoreline villages. Now this is what people call New Village and all of these houses have some pretty cool loot. 
very similar to the cottages on shoreline and you know this is nearby and technically still part of the same village if you think about the open world situation so what's really interesting is that these buildings have similar loot to shoreline but not just that it's actually near the path to shoreline extract so if you ever see these buildings nearby know that the path to shoreline extract is nearby as well as the fact that these houses have some decent stuff so i definitely come here and check them when i'm near this area anyway once we get to the end of the road, you'll see those two soccer posts and just directly in front of me there is the path to shoreline exfil. But if we were to turn our direction towards the north here and look to our left, we are going to be noticing a lake and this lake surrounds an actual little island here with a bunch of collapsed buildings on it. Now looking over at this island, we can see a bunch of old houses and they are surrounded by water entirely. We actually have to use some little land bridges to get across but you can see we're actually going to start heading towards the north again because we know that bridge is in the distance so we are heading towards the north once we cross this land bridge we're going to be looking at one of these villages here and this village is the old village as i call it and it has a lot of different loot similar to one of the sunken villages on woods a lot of rare loot and also technical spawns across the different areas it also has a locked bunker, which I do not know if the key exists yet, but I haven't found the key myself. I'm really interested to check out what's inside this bunker, and when I find out, I'll let you guys know in another video. We're not going to be going through the loot entirely in this old village, as I don't want to waste too much of your time, but this village does have some decent stuff, and I would check it out as we head towards the north. So as we work our way towards the north, like I was saying earlier, we're heading towards the water treatment plant. Now this is where things get really interesting on Lighthouse and this is one of the most dangerous and also high risk, high reward areas on the map. As we are about to head inside this gate, there's a few things I need to let you know before you come in here. The first one is on the grass towards your left as well as multiple different areas around the map, especially in the grassy areas, are landmines. So one general rule of thumb, if you don't know where they all are, just stick to the road. It's much easier, especially if you're working your way around water treatment. Try and keep some cover as well, and if you are crossing the grassy areas, don't do it for long. One thing you really need to be careful of are rogues. There are five to six different rogues located around the map. What are rogues? Well, they're XPMC operatives with very insane gear, similar to raiders. They have a single white name. It can be random. You can check the wiki for all the separate names. But they love the rooftops of these large blue buildings. These large buildings are actually the ones with the mounted MG nest on top of them and also grenade launchers. Now, they actually operate these grenade launchers and MG nests, so you really need to be careful when working our way through this area. These guys have insane loot and they protect the loot that's in this area. If you're a USEC, they will not aggro you straight away until you enter the complex. If you're a bear, they can aggro you up to 500 meters away and have been accurate at that range as well with some of those MGs, which is absolutely insane. In some of these water treatment areas, in these huge circular areas, is some military loot inside these tents. As well as nearby, there's actually a helicopter which is inside one of them, which is parked here with a bunch of green flares around it. Nearby to the helicopter is a bunch of loot. As you can see, I got really lucky here and I actually happened to find a tank battery, which indicates on this pallet nearby is a bunch of military loot. That goes for the entirety of this map and this area specifically has a bunch of military loot similar to reserve so you have military cable iridium anything like that can make you a lot of money as well as cofdms so we're going to be heading away from these water vats and heading towards one of the btrs nearby is a bunch of attachments and also some tool spawns but it's not really that super good what you do want to be heading towards is some of these open blue power buildings and you actually have to cut through the gate and head towards the very north of the map aka the back of the map to be able to access this one now i did want to be careful though because there is a mounted gl on the top of this roof so when heading inside just be careful because the rogues can actually be inside the building as well when we come in here the reason that i recommend coming into this building one of the buildings that we actually saw in the trailer is because upstairs on the second floor at the very end are actually two offices and inside these offices can spawn intel as well as things like flash drives vertex and vpx on the table now these rooms can be very dangerous as these rogues make it very hard to get in this area and also get out safely but if you are near this area there's actually an extract as you head out towards the back of this building on your right which is one of the car extracts like i said earlier i do have a video specifically showing you where these are so if you are confused guys there isn't a separate video which will show you all these extracts a little bit more in depth just for the sake of reasoning you can see that the lighthouse is our very south point and we are ages away from it 
we're actually as far as away we can get towards this huge ass mountain which is our point of north when we head towards the very north point on this map we're actually going to find the train station and around about under 10 minutes the train rocks up and you can actually jump on this train even if you're a scav and wait until it extracts it has been a little bit buggy and sometimes it's actually not been leaving in time and people have been going mia so careful when using this extract i've noticed that sometimes it can rock up under 10 minutes around eight minutes as well sometimes it'll rock up take forever to leave and other times it'll rock up and then leave almost instantly nearby to this area is also a large warehouse which is similar to one on customs and it has some solid loot inside it's very similar to one of the buildings what i call chemical which has that blue van which you need to mark in a later date what's really interesting about this train station is if we were to jump over this wood piles you can actually see we're right next to the northern checkpoint so if your train leaves and you miss it you can actually just run over here to the northern checkpoint quite safely and go out one of the more safe and probably easy to use extracts hey guys that's it for this lighthouse bearings breakdown hopefully this helped you guys navigate the map a little bit if there's something that you're still curious about ask me in the comment section down below i always try to read as many as i can if you guys still have questions feel free to jump in the discord we got a great discord full of good people i try to keep active in there as much as i possibly can so if you guys want to ask me anything even when i'm not streaming i'll always answer them straight away thank you guys so much for watching to the very end it means a lot to me if you guys enjoy this type of content feel free to subscribe to the channel down below and as always We'll see you on the next one.